Kimber, does it say it's 54 degrees? It actually says it's 52 degrees. 52 degrees? 52. I thought we were in Florida. I mean, I thought we were too, but maybe we're in Alaska? This isn't the panhandle. We're in Tampa. 52 degrees. What are we going to do today? We're going to go to the spring. <laughs> are just going to go look at the spring? We're we gonna, did that yesterday. We're going to get in the water. We're going swimming? We're it, going swimming. It's 52 degrees. That is Fahrenheit, right? Not Celsius? That is 52 degrees Okay, because 52 Fahrenheit. Celsius would, wouldn't be bad. It'd be, I think we might boil. I don't know. <laughs> that, so we're going swimming. Swimming in the spring. 72 degree water. 52 degree air temperature. We might get chilly. We might. We're gonna have chilly? I mean, we can have chilly afterwards. We've oh, got okay. some at home. All right, well, look, we are at Lithia Springs, which is a park that is in Lithia, Florida, which is close to Brandon and Riverview, mm -hmm. about 20 minutes from where we live. Yep. And uh, we checked it out yesterday. Kimber went and bought a wetsuit just so she could do this and other things too. Yeah. And we're gonna go, we're gonna go jump in the water and, and check it out. It's it was two dollars to get in yep. for the for the whole car. And then if you want to swim, it's two dollars more per person. So six dollars for this fun and exciting experience. That's right. Hopefully. Or oh. cold. Yeah. We'll see. All right Kimby are, are you ready? What's my name? I don't know. <laughs> All right. All right, Kimber, are you ready to get into this water? I am, mostly because it's cold out here and I think it's going to be warmer in there. And it is going to be 72 degrees, but look at this. We have the whole place to ourselves. There that, is nobody else here. That's what happens when you're crazy enough to swim in 72 degree water in 52 degree yeah, weather. The lifeguards back there are like getting ready for us because they're like, <laughs> what kind of crazy people are getting in this water? They probably need help. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to see what happens. I'm ready. All right, Kimber, are you ready to get into this freezing cold water? I'm ready. Here I go. <laughs> oh, look at the little fish. Okay, distracted by fish. She feels no cold because fishies. Oh, look, it has more cold than this. Now, right now, she's probably not feeling any of the water because it's not really getting into her wetsuit. Actually, I can tell you, my feet are in the water. It feels good because it is... 72 degrees after all. You gotta just get in. I'm in. I mean like all the way in. Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's chilly once it gets in. Yeah, it'll warm up though when your body warms it up. By the way, that's how wetsuits work, is basically it lets the water in and then it gets trapped between the neoprene and your body heats the water up and you're insulated. Good? Yeah. All right, I gotta get into it now. This is a super cool new look. Walking backwards without looking is really a smart thing. Probably not. These are fogging up. I'm going to have to spin in it because apparently that's what you do if you don't have defogger. So I'm going to do that. I look silly. Oh, look at that. What did you see? That is a Placostomus. A Placosta who? A Placostomus. Is it like a hippopotamus? Not quite. Ooh, look at all of them! Yeah, there's a bunch of them. So, these guys are actually from South America, and they were introduced into the Florida waterways. Looks like, like many invasive species, they're doing just fine! They which is are. Which good. Um, there are 16 different species of them. Um, they're also called the sailfin catfish, which you'll see here in a minute. This little guy here gets spooked, and you can see how big that fin is Are on you saying back. that I scared this fish? Are you accusing... How dare you accuse me of scaring a fish? I'm really sorry. So, Matt's over there snorkeling. He's doing some of his fancy free diving stuff. And... I'm doing this video. I'm surprisingly don't have a whole lot of these mask lines. 
My friend keeps coming off. I dropped the phone. Let's see what Nat's doing. Hey, isn't this great? That was not as funny as you might think it was. Oh, I think it was great. <laughs> anyway, that grate is over the actual spring. That is the Lithia Spring Spring. It's You see the water flowing out of that? There's a lot of water coming out of that spring, and that is why this water is so clear, and it's why it is 72 degrees. Pretty cool, right? Yeah, it was really cool. It was actually, I didn't realize how strong that water would be flowing out of there. Yeah, the main spring in Lithia pumps out about 24 million gallons a day so that is some serious current pushing you around that is crazy amount and all that water comes out of the aquifer which is like a limestone cavern system that runs under the state of florida that's why we have so many springs here now there's a lot of fish that live in the spring do you see that one with the long stripe down its back yeah what is that that is a snook so that, that's a very popular game fish and one of the larger fish you'll see in the spring pretty cool to see that snook, most of what we see here are fish called tilapia, also introduced. And uh, of course the placostomus are abundant. I did see a bass at one point and we saw some other smaller fish. Well, we have emerged from Lithia Springs. We what, have indeed. What did you think? It was really cool. It was literally cool. Well, actually- well, in the water, it was pretty nice. 72 doesn't feel bad when it's 50s, in the 50s. Yeah. We saw, as you probably just saw the footage, we saw a lot of really cool fish. Uh, we had the spring to ourselves, except for one lifeguard that had to follow us around. But uh, yeah, pretty pretty cool experience, yeah. and it cost us six bucks, and it was like 20 minutes from the house. I think we'll be back many times this winter Absolutely. to check out these fish. Yeah, I recommend it, especially if you have a wetsuit. Yes, wear a wetsuit, unless you're here in the summer, but then this whole thing will be full of people. It'll be like a huge crowded swimming pool like there they have a maximum limit but it's a lot of people i think so these ropes are here because that gives the lifeguards a place to to watch so some watch this section that section that section anyway uh, we had a good time check out lithia springs and until next time have a fantastic day bye everyone Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit the bell so you are notified when new videos come out on Fantastic Studios.